Hi, I'm Brett Middleton and this is our track test of the next update with our Evo 10 project car here at MRT. And I'm at Maroolan Driver Training Centre in um, New South Wales, Australia. Um, the uh, track here is a very tight track, it's a real driver's track, it's not very fast main straight like a lot of other events. Um, probably going to really suit this car quite well because of the huge torque that we've got out of this engine and um, this is a great opportunity for me to um, get some uh, testing done on the car at the same time take you for a ride around the track and see what the events and the course is like but also give you some feedback on how the car's handling and um, so I um, hope you enjoy coming for the ride and um, we'll just get out onto the track and um, do a small warm-up running the uh, Bridgestone RE55 R-Series semi-slicks so I need to be a little bit careful just to get the hang of how the track's feeling this morning particularly until the uh, tyres have all warmed up turn the stability control off one notch now this car's got uh, white line front and rear sway bars it's got the uh, Positive steering kit, uh, roll centre kit to uh, lower springs, the uh, width, which are part of the uh, teen suspension upgrade, and also uh, rear tow control uh, to uh, make the wheel alignment on the rear of the Evo a lot more consistent because the rear tow control on these cars does tend to slip and it's not always maintained the wheel alignment settings if you're bouncing off ripple strips and stuff like that so stability control is certainly doing its very best because Up to the temperature, they grip becomes pretty good. Cool. 
down. So, certainly uh, a bit of a wake up call for a um, early morning run around the track, but that's the show. Depending on the corners, how the car can oversteer and understeer different ways, depending on how you attack the corner. And um, when the track dries out completely, obviously, we'll have a lot more grip than we can do even quicker. But at the same time, because this new engine has just got so much torque, you notice I'm constantly changing gears at around 5,000 RPM. Because 